Hey, first grade, Miss Horton here, doing day three of math. You don't have this page in your packet because this is a teacher page. So Miss Horton's gonna do some of them with you and then let you have some thank time to do them by yourself. Number one, Shelly found seven black feathers and five white feathers. How many feathers did she find? You're gonna add seven plus five. You can do this with your fingers or you can get a piece of paper or manipulatives. Miss Horton's favorite at home manipulative is a penny. You could put seven tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then five tally marks. One, two, three, four, five. Then you can add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So seven plus five is twelve. So you would put that right there. Number two, Mark found six black feathers and six white feathers. How many feathers did he find? Let's do this one in our brain. Six plus six. I'm gonna put the first number inside my brain, six, and I'm gonna count on six more. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So six plus six is 12 total feathers. Number three, if you look, we are missing a number. It gives us one number and it gives us our total, but we have a missing add-in. So we gotta figure out blank plus nine equals 13. I know I've got to stop at 13, so I'm gonna put nine in my brain and count on until I get to 13. So I'm gonna to go to my paper and say, I'm gonna put nine tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna count on until I get to 13. So I have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. So nine plus one, two, three, four equals 13. I would put that right there, put four right there. Four plus nine equals 13. Number four, I'm gonna kinda let you do this one a little bit on your own. So we've got the number four and we've got the number 13. We gotta figure out what number plus four equals 13. Hmm. So I'm gonna go back to my page and I'm gonna put four tally marks. Now you're gonna count on and see how many more tally marks you need to add to get to 13 as your total number. I'm gonna give you a second to do that. Okay, so you should have four tally marks. We're gonna count on until we get to 13. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, I reached the number 13. Let's see how many we added. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four, plus nine equals 13. All right, last one. Mark found some black feathers. Shelly gave him some white feathers. He had 20 feathers in his basket. How many white and black feathers does Mark have in his basket? Now, this one is totally up to you. You can find two numbers, one and two, that equal 20. So I want you to take a moment 
and find two numbers that equal 20 when you add them up. It's not a right or wrong answer. Your number does not have to be the same as my number. As long as your total equals 20, you got it correct. All right, now that you've had a moment to think about two numbers that would equal 20, you can share them in the comments. And then Miss Horton's gonna show you hers. Hers is gonna be the easiest one out there. Two numbers that equal 20. It says he had some black feathers. Miss Horton's gonna give him 10 black feathers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I gave him ten black feathers. So now I gotta figure out how many white feathers he needs to equal twenty. So we have ten in my first group. I'm gonna count on to twenty. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-